Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Animated Alex. This is a test project that I did using BASIC, but with the intentions of using Encoder 3 for the finished product. It's a simple little game. You've basically got to capture the four magenta nasties. You're armed with a laser gun. You've got to blast through the scion lines because you can't walk through them to get to the nasties. Pick off the nasties one by one using the laser gun as well. Once you've blasted one of them, you'll see that they end up in the right hand box on the side of the screen there. Once that's full, a green square appears in the center of the screen and the screen basically reloads again. It does a random line draw every time. As the finished product was going to be done using Encoder 3, I didn't worry too much about the basic code. I decided to add animation, hence the main character. I wanted it to look like it was moving, you know, walking, like a bird's eye view. Also, I wanted four nasties to move all at the same time. In the basic version, I ended up putting a random call into each Go sub. I got rid of that when I did the Encoder 3, took that out so they were constantly on Go subbing to the nasty straight away. Also, as ironic as it sounds, I had to slow the basic down before using the machine code by adding some pauses in place. And I added some additional sounds. And all this was really at the end of the day was just a test project to see how it turned out. And it's opened up potential now for other projects perhaps. And as you can see, the finished product is a lot better and a lot quicker than the basic version. Obviously, no shit, Sherlock. Of course it's going to be. But I just wanted to share this video just to show you that if you don't know how to program in machine code like myself, but you want to create a nice, quick, fast moving, simple game, then you can just program it in BASIC and then send it through a compiler and all your problems will be solved. Yet you could say it's cheating in a way, but it's not, is it really? Because you've had to design that game using BASIC in the first place. So you've spent a lot of time making a BASIC program, getting it running in BASIC, and yet it's sluggish. So the quickest thing to do just send it through a compiler. And then obviously then you have to go back and forth every time, which I had to do here to make some adjustments in the basic code to get a reasonable and nice moving game. So anyway, I just wanted to share this, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you on the next one.